Ah, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson, here you are. I'm very glad that you have come, but perhaps I should not have troubled you after all. And why is that? Lady Brackenstall has come to her senses, and she has given so clear an account of the affair that there is not much left for us to do. You remember that Lewisham gang of burglars? What, the three Randalls? Exactly. The father and two sons. It's their work. They stole a silver service, which is of great value. Sir Eustace Brackenstall is dead, then? Yes. His head was knocked in with his own poker. A violent act of aggression. Yes, the poor lady. She has had a most dreadful experience. She was assaulted and tied to a chair. But I think that you would best see her and hear her account of the facts. She is in the morning room with her maid, to raise a right. Where is the body of the deceased? In the dining room. We haven't touched anything. All right. I'm going to examine it. Very good, Watson. Lord Ramsay Brackenstall. Lady Brackenstall awaits you in the morning room. Sir Warthen Brackenstall. Baron Linden Brackenstall. Lady Brackenstall awaits you in the morning room. Ladies, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting Inspector Lestrade in this investigation. Mr. Holmes, I am the wife of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. We were married only a year ago. I am sorry for your loss. Please accept my deepest condolences. I suppose that it is no use my attempting to conceal that our marriage has not been a happy one. I fear that all would tell you that, even if I were to attempt to deny it. Can you describe to me the events of yesterday evening? Is it really necessary? I have already told Inspector Lestrade all that happened. Yes, madam, it is. I will tell you then. Sir Eustace retired about half past ten. I sat in this room until after eleven, absorbed in a book. Before I went upstairs, I entered the dining room to fetch a candle and... Oh, God. Please, go on. As I approached the French window, I found myself face to face with an elderly, broad-shouldered man who had just stepped into the room. Close behind the first man, I saw two others. One of them struck me a savage blow with his fist and felled me unconscious to the ground. And then... When I came to myself, I found that they had secured me tightly to a dining room chair. It was at that instant my unfortunate husband entered the room. He fought with the intruders? Yes, I think he had heard them, for he was holding his stick. But they were three, and he eventually succumbed. One of them, the elder one, struck him a terrible blow with the poker. I fainted once more. When I opened my eyes, they had withdrawn. Then my brave Teresa came to my assistance. Did these three villains steal anything? Yes. I found that they had taken the silver from the sideboard, but you can see for yourself in the dining room. You mentioned that your marriage was not a happy one. Was there anything specific that was troubling you? He was not a nice man when he was drunk, and he suffered from dark moods, but nothing else.
The bruises on your hands are at least one week old. Your husband caused those bruises? Oh, do you... Yes, he did. He was very angry at the time. Out of control. Again. Sir Eustace was a drunkard. To be tied to such a man for life is worse than death. Your ladyship? Teresa, I would like to hear your testimony. Certainly, sir. As I sat by my bedroom window, I saw three men in the moonlight down by the lodge gate. But I thought nothing of it at the time. Oh, if I'd known. And then? I went to bed, and it was more than an hour after that I heard my mistress scream. And down I ran, to find her tied to the chair and him on the floor with his head smashed. That's all I know. The description of the Randall gang provided by Lady Brackenstall is identical to the one in the Times article. A trapper's hut. This photograph of Lady Brackenstall and her maid Teresa was taken at a port, but which one? So the lady and her maid came from Australia a year and a half ago on this ship. Hmm. These scratches are most definitely made by the picture frame. Oh, what a horrible thing to have happened. This is Sir Eustace's safe. There may be something important inside. I must ask Lady Brackenstall to open it. Lady Brackenstall, could you open this wall safe? No, it is my husband's safe. I do not know the combination. We have to open it. Your ladyship? Let us try to open this safe. This safe can be cracked. I only have to pay attention. The dial will vibrate when it is set to the correct number.
antique coins, possibly of value, but they're scattered without care. It is common practice to keep one's valuables in a safe behind a painting. It should not really pose a challenge for a criminal. The body is still in the dining room where the murder took place. You should examine the body of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. A fur trader's cabin. So, Watson, what have you learned from examining Sir Eustace's body? Well, I can confirm that the death was instant. Sir Eustace was facing his attacker when he received the blow to his head. There are no other apparent injuries. That must be the murder weapon. The head was cracked with the force of the blow. Barefoot. He had therefore been in bed and did not have time to fully dress. Quite a large stick, a formidable weapon. It is covered in blood. Sir Eustace might have struck his head upon it while falling from the blow. That is one possible explanation. It appears that the bell rope was cut by someone taller than me. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. There is beeswing at the bottom, as if the wine had not been decanted before being poured. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. It is rather strange that only one of these glasses has dregs of bees wing inside it, while the other two are clear. Chateau Calon Ségur, French wine, Grand Cru. A decanter standing next to the open bottle, an inseparable pair indeed. A deer hunt. This door leads to the upstairs bedrooms. Apparently the criminals did not venture there. The hunting scene. These wine bottles are expensive and mostly from France. This candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. An empty silverware box. It appears that the intruders have stolen the contents. A bottle of wine is missing here. The criminals did not thoroughly ransack the house. They only took a little silverware. Sailor's knots. That's interesting. This rope was handled by the murderers. We need a scent hound to follow their trail. I will take it with me. This is the chair that Lady Brackenstall was tied to. Antique hunting weapons. The hunting scene. 